Hospice is a form of care given to those nearing the end of their lives. Those working in hospice usually spend one-on-one -on -one time with patients, but you can see from this photo right here, the coronavirus is really changing how they operate. And as Maya Rodriguez shows us, it's at a time when those patients are the most vulnerable. When doctors give patients six months or less to live, hospice becomes an option for added care. But the coronavirus outbreak is altering what those providers do. I can tell you the hospice community has never faced anything like this before. Tony Kudner is with Seasons Hospice, which runs programs in nearly 30 states. Our patients are in nursing facilities and in assisted living facilities and, and in their private homes as well. Uh, and with some of the lockdowns, it really has been a challenge to get to the patients, especially in the nursing facility settings. That's led to scenes like this, a hospice care worker having to stay outside to communicate with a patient inside a facility, unable to be by their bedside. We understand the place of uh, caution that they're coming from. They want to keep everybody safe, and so do we. Uh, and so we're finding some creative solutions. That includes using technology like FaceTime and WhatsApp to connect someone in hospice care with loved ones who can't be by their side. And when allowed into a facility, those who work in hospice wear personal protective equipment, just like other health care providers. And the more that we can partner together to help provide that emotional, spiritual, psychological and physical support to those patients and families, that's that's our why. That's that's what got us here in the first place. On average, more than a million and a half Americans enter hospice care every year. We're all trying to, to navigate through something that is unusual and unique in, in its vastness right now. All while helping people facing a bleak future amid even more uncertainty. I'm Maya Rodriguez reporting.